Basically, what they have here, they have like a little wall display with trophies and in they got this, which is pretty interesting from 1929 to 1930. Yeah, and you can see that, you know, a guy named. Uh, something Ferguson, you know, had 55 cents in cash. Another guy named Harry Vaughn had $17 in cash. Yeah, there were rough um, times back then. Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to kind of you just have somebody flip through it. And again, I don't want to touch the record. I mean, yeah. I respect the fact that they need to protect the, the, the all jail fees. The Supreme Court ruled that any material made or received in the official course of business, regardless of form, or means of transmission that was intended to communicate, perpetuate, or formalize knowledge is a public record. Mm -hmm. So I think you'd have a hard time arguing that an antique document on display from the 1920s and 1930s was not intended to perpetuate knowledge. What, what other purpose would there be for having it displayed or keeping the record? Mm -hmm. So all I'm interested in doing is you can, it's nice that they have it out there, I commend them for having it out there, but unfortunately you can only see two pages and just out of curiosity I'd like to it wouldn't take very long. It would take you know a minute or two, and I'd be. You so you want to flip through it? I want them to turn the if they if they want me to turn the pages, I'll be happy to. But I certainly respect the fact that they may not want me to touch it. Right. Hey, yo. Good. How are you? Hey, but I don't want to be videotaped. Well, but this is for the um, yeah. record that yeah. we're doing. But I don't want to be videotaped. This is a place of business. Can you turn it off, and I'll help you. As I'm well. not going to turn it off. I'm going. To, I'm okay. doing a business myself. All right. Well, hey, anyway, what? Let me. Yeah, no, I, no, that's okay. We're so not I gonna, can't see the record. No. What, well, I don't want to be videotaped. This is a, a I, building, I mean, and it's an he, office. He, he is. And, he's and a general. I want to help you. I know. And that. this is a private business. No, it's not a private I mean, business. It's, it's not a private it's a, business. It's a private building. This is where we conduct business. It's a public building. Okay, but what, what I'm saying is, I, I think you're confusing. What, what he's doing is what he's doing. I didn't arrive here with him. I, okay, fine. Okay, okay, then come on. Can well, I see the record? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with you. Come on inside but, into can my I office. Can I show you what it, is, what it is I'm looking for? Yeah, sure. But, uh, well, I just wanted to inspect that. I'll take but a couple of minutes. And I'm not, I don't, I understand that you guys don't want me touching. That's perfectly fine. It's old and obviously important. Okay, come here to our office. I'll we'll gladly talk to you and help you out. Huh? So I have to go in a... What's sort of talk about? What? Okay, you guys are just being good. Yeah. I'm no, trying to help well, you I, instead I, of giving you a... I've made, I've made my request. Can, yeah, I, can I look at it? No, no, we'll talk to you and we'll, we'll deal with it. I don't, I don't want to be videotaped here. Can I so are, are you saying I'm not allowed to go back with wherever you're taking the gentleman? No, you're not. I'm going into my private office, okay. and I don't want you in my private office. Hey, what is your name, sir? Angel Vasquez. Okay. Uh, okay? Okay. Sir, you're welcome to come with me and speak to me in my office, or you can stay well, here. I'm going to go back there. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm just uncomfortable doing that. <laughs> and I'm not comfortable you videotaping. I'm not videotaping. Yes, I'm not videotaping. you are. I'm no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Why are you okay. uncomfortable with me videotaping? Can I, it's just okay. a videotape. Can I inspect the record? No, sir. You can't unless I speak to you. Okay. And I can't go back there, right? He's uncomfortable with being recorded. You know, I put in a situation where I have two armed police officers yeah. who are wanting to take me out of public view into a, some back room to have a conversation with me about a public records request that I've already made repeatedly. And if I don't go into some back room where where you and no one else can see what's happening, they won't talk to me about the public records request. And there's nothing in the statute that gives them that kind of authority. And, and what the custodians of public records need to understand is that they cannot create any barrier to access that has not been authorized by the Florida legislature. And nowhere, completely absent from the Florida Public Records Act, is any authority to demand that a citizen walk in and identify themselves. They repeatedly asked who I was, they asked me why I wanted to see the records, and then they demand that I go into some back room where, where the public can't see what's happening in order for me to make a public records request. They didn't say, we'll sh we will only show it to you in a back room. They were saying, to even make your request, come with us out of public view where God knows what's going to happen. And frankly, I, I would be fearful to do that. Uh, yeah, it was very strange that they did not want to do this on camera when we were, we were conducting public business. And whether, and whether, whether again, you and I know each other clearly. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hire you to come here. I didn't talk you into coming here. You're a journalist doing what you do. And I was very upfront with them. I told Absolutely. them who I was. And what you I and I are not connected. I, right. As I've told people, I can't imagine that anyone has control over Carlos Miller. I certainly don't have any. And if Carlos wants to videotape, he can videotape it. There's nothing I could say or do that would keep him from doing that. I'm not required to go into a secret room in order to make a public records request. Yeah. And there's no authority in the statutes. So, 
Uh, Joel, um, before I forget, last time we did this, a lot of my readers were asking for citations of the law. Can you give us some citations of the laws that you're referring to? Well, yeah, the Florida Public Records Act is, is, under, is Chapter 119 of the Florida Statutes, and it's, and, well, two things. There's Article 1, Section 24 of the Florida Constitution. Public records access is a constitutional right. It's a civil right in the state of Florida. Just like voting or getting married or going to church, it's as much a civil right as any of those things. Um, so Article 1, Section 24 of the Florida Constitution, coupled with Chapter 119 of the Florida Statutes, is generally referred to as the Public Records Act. And I don't have a citation that says they can't make me do that. They don't have a citation that says that they can't. And that's the issue. Um, and you understand, I'm not an attorney. So I'm not giving anybody legal advice. Uh, I speak only for myself. I'm a lay person. But my reading of the statute, and I'm a reasonably literate person, I don't find anything in the statute that gives any custodian of public records the authority to demand that a requester go into a secret room where he cannot be feel safe because no one else can see what's going on. And of course, then there's the issue of he said, she said, right? I mean, they say that I said one thing and I didn't say that. Um, why would you have any problem making your request in a public area? Right. So what's going to happen now? Uh, I'm going to file a lawsuit and right. I'm going to vindicate my right and the public's right to be able to walk into the Miami Beach Police Department and ask to inspect the public record without being harassed without having somebody demand to know why you want the record and who you are or being told that you cannot see a record unless you're willing to go into some back room to have a conversation with two men carrying guns.